by their parents, the Japanese music scene, and the odds to make a big name for themselves in alternative circles overseas. LA's Red Cross inspired a tribute album called Every Band Has a Shonen Knife Who Loves Them, which made the buzz on Shonen Knife even bigger. Right now, they're touring in support of a new album called Rock Animals, and their particularly unique sound, kind of a post-punk Japanese thrash pop. The last time we talked, I saw you in Osaka, yeah. your hometown, and you were just recording rock animals then. Yeah. Ready? Hello, we are Shonen Knife. I'm Michie. I'm Naoko. I'm Atsuko. Um, now Shonen Knife is recording our new album, which will be called Rock Animals, and it's, it's wonderful already. <laughs> record and mix in Japan, in Osaka, um, but this time uh, a guy from Virgin Records offered, uh, how about, to ask Don Fleming to be a mixing, mixing producer, and uh, we thought it's a good idea because Don did a uh, produce for Teenage Fan Club. Before this, uh, Dinosaur Junior, a very good band, so uh, we wanted to ask to be a mixing producer too. And he did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Everybody. Uh, harmonica, yeah. uh, piano, yeah. uh, different kind of guitar sounds. Yeah. Did that come from you or was that your interaction in New York and Don's input? Was this recorded that way in Japan? Yeah, we recorded in Osaka. Mm -hmm. oh, we recorded all things in Osaka. And then uh, we brought our tape to New York. So the harmonica sounds and, and all of these very different sounds were your idea? Yes. It's the growth right. of the band. Yeah. Because um, I like Neil Young, so uh, I'm inspired by him about harmonica and guitar. I've interviewed uh, Red Cross since I spoke with you. Yeah, yeah, Steve and Jeff, who spoke so highly of you. <laughs> but they made a big impact on your career in America because of the Shonen Knife tribute album. This friend of mine, Bill Bartell, and I had this concept of putting together a tribute album of like all the bands that we knew doing Shonen Knife songs. So we managed to get like L7, Sonic Youth, us. Christmas, all these great bands that do Show to Knife songs. Imagine you get Red Cross. And, it, yeah, we got in there. Somehow. But most of the groups had never heard Show to Knife, so we were just giving them, you know, the records, and everybody was really excited. I'm gonna Oh, 
before you were just a cult band mm -hmm. and now people know you yeah. i guess you're grateful to those guys but we still like uh, underground alternative cult taste our spirits uh now even now in cult spirit <laughs> you listen to the songs a couple of times, you recognize that it's not just a frivolous, funny little song, that there is a message there. It maybe isn't political, but it's often environmental, <laughs> right? Yeah. So do you think environmental awareness is happening in Japan? Do you think more people are becoming aware of, of the environment and, and the protection of the environment? Yeah. Uh... There, there are lots of problems about environment in Japan, and uh, uh, I, I hope many people will be become noticed about such problems through our music. Shall we go? Now, what is in the future? Future. We want to continue playing music as long as we can, and uh, we want to play as a old women's punk band. An old women's punk band. <laughs> the oldest punk band in the world. <laughs> Maybe, and we would become more aggressive. <laughs> the new music.